Wow, what an absolutely massive victory against Manchester United. Uh, old rivals collide and Arsenal come up on top. Uh, brilliant, brilliant game for the neutrals, but very nervous, as you can tell from an Arsenal fan and Man United fan's perspective. But both teams were very good, but I do think Arsenal slightly edged it and were the better team in the end. First half, I don't think we were at our best with a few players sloppy, such as Party Martinelli and Ben White. Second half, I do believe we did step it up and uh, we just got a lovely goal. And then that last one, about 75 minutes to 90 minutes, we completely dominated them. They could barely get out their own half and it led to a goal that was very well deserved. Since we come back from the World Cup, we've beaten West Ham, beat Brighton, drew with Newcastle, beat Spurs away and then now beaten Man United. This young team is doing us so, so proud and I'm almost still in disbelief how good we are nowadays, especially with such a young team that will only continue to get better and better with this brilliant manager too. So getting into the game, in the first like 2-3 minutes, I think we started the game absolutely brilliantly. I think we won a corner, we're already on top of them, got maybe a shot away as well. We started off absolutely brilliant, but then I think they slowed us down a bit, and then around the 15-20 mark, it was getting more even. And that's when they got their first goal. It was a brilliant goal in all honesty. I think Lashford not break the party, he was quite poor in the first half, but it's a brilliant strike, bottom corner. don't think Lamzo could have done much else about that. It's a brilliant goal, and Lashford's been on superb form, so he was always going to score that. But then Arsenal responded absolutely brilliantly. Uh, we had a corner, we pressed them uh, to earn that corner. And then I think it was Zinchenko, who was brilliant, pressing to Odegaard. Xhaka with an absolutely delightful cross. And then Ketia with a brilliant header. And that made it 1-1. Then I think that half, I think it just petered out a bit. Uh, I don't think really much happened after that. And then the second half, it was pretty much the same. Don't think any team came flying out of the blocks. And at that point, I think it was pretty even. And that's when Saka pulled out his absolutely sensational goal. I think he ran off Eriksen cutting in his left foot, curved it into that bottom corner. Wonderful power, wonderful precision, no chance for the hair. Brilliant, brilliant goal from Saka. And that was his third consecutive goal against Man United. He scored last season at the Emirates at Old Trafford this season and again now. So he's starting to really become a big game player and he, whenever we need him, he steps up to the plate for such a young age as well. After that, I think Lashford had a sharp brilliancy from Ramsdale, and then the, then they scored from their corner, Martinez. Uh, Ramsdale, he has to do better. He tried to catch it, I think. In reality, if he's not can't catch it, they should have really just punch, uh, punched the ball. But giving credit to Martinez, uh, it's a very good header to be fair, because it's come at him, and he's kind of looped it over the keeper, and Gabriel can't really clear it off the line, so it's a very good header and offerings to Martinez. And then from then on, in my opinion, I think we absolutely pummeled them. I they, I can't remember any chances they had. They absolutely just could not get out of their own half. We had attack after attack, sustaining pressure all the time. And it was a brilliant, brilliant display from Arsenal from then on. And that's when the last minute goal came from. Uh, it was uh, Trossard who did brilliant when he came on, past Zinchenko. And then I'm not sure if it was Odegaard or Fred who hit it, but then it fell to Inketia, brilliant box instincts and scored it. I think everybody thought it was offside, even me. I thought it was offside, so I, I celebrated, but not fully. But then you see it back, Zinchenko's onside and Inketia is onside, so it was the right decision to allow the ball to stay. Then the full time whistle blows, Arteta celebrates, the players celebrate, Jesus goes on the pitch to celebrate with the players, and Chenko's so happy, everybody is happy, and it's a massive, massive three points for Arsenal in the end, and in my opinion, very well deserved. Question is now as if we're going to bring in any more new signings in this window, but the player we brought on Chaucer was absolutely brilliant, and I have very high hopes in Keyboard, who was at the game watching that, so we're really trying to do everything we can to win this league the board the manager the players and you can really see it the fans are right behind the team and the atmosphere at the club is absolutely sensational we can really really go on to win this league and it'll be an absolutely sensational achievement if we can do it with this young squad moving on to player rating starting off with Aaron Ramsdale I give him an 8 out of 10 maybe that is a little bit generous but that first goal uh, he had no chance with the, uh, the second he should be doing much much better because either punch it or claim it and I think he tried to claim it but messed it up but that save from Rashford was absolutely sensational that took a deflection as well so that's why I'm giving him an 8 out of 10. Moving on to Ben White who's been absolutely brilliant for us this season but this game I do think he really struggles. He does have a tendency to struggle against Rashford even in his Brighton days so I give him a 6 out of 10. Um, no downing on him just a very poor game from him today to be honest. Wasn't great got that yellow card as well and got taken off at half time so bad day at the office for White but he's been brilliant this season so he can have an off game. 
Moving on to William Saliba, who I gave a 9 out of 10. I thought he was absolutely brilliant again, and him, he's so young as well, so he's only going to get better and better. Don't think he was at fault for any of the goals, and I thought he did reasonably well against Vecos, so as I said, 9 out of 10. Brilliant, brilliant player, and he's been sensational for us. Next up, Gabriel, who I also gave a 9 out of 10. I thought he won all his duels very well, good on the ball as well. Same as Saliba, they were both just as solid as each other. And we have a special, special partnership on our hands here. Both still reasonably young and this could be a partnership for the ages. So I'm really happy to have both of these two at the back. Moving on to my man of the match personally and I give Zinchenko a 10 out of 10. He was absolutely world class today. One of the most technical players in the world. Never mind left backs, players in the world. 10 out of 10. On the ball, absolutely superb. Kept uh, finding Xhaka in between the lines. I thought he defended Anthony very well as well, who wasn't great today thanks to Zinchenko. And uh, Zinchenko's pass that led to the winning goal as well. So you could give man of the match to it, loads of players, but in my opinion, I give it to Zinch uh, Zinchenko because I thought it was absolutely sensational. What a player. Moving on to uh, Thomas Partey, who I gave an 8 out of 10. Maybe a little bit generous as well, considering his first half performance. I didn't think it was that great, to be honest, as, uh, in the first half. But second half, I do believe he fixed up. Overall, not one of his best games, but he's been absolutely brilliant for us today. And he did the job today, in my opinion. Next up is Granit Xhaka, who I give it a 10 out of 10. I thought he was absolutely brilliant today, defensively and attacking. Obviously, he's been criticised for maybe his lack of mobility, because in that 8 you want somebody to come in and move quick and maybe use his right foot more. But today, I thought he was absolutely brilliant, up and down, had that can, uh, midfield unlock when Potty wasn't fully on it. Him and Zinchenko were absolutely sensational, in my opinion, and that's why I gave him a 10 out of 10. Moving on to Martin Odegaard, who I gave a 9 out of 10. Not quite a 10 out of 10, but again, absolutely sensational. There was one pass he did in the second half where he like, did a, like, a flip flat through, through past the Xhaka and a good tackle for Martinez. Brilliant skill and a brilliant player. First half brilliant, second half maybe not as good, but still absolutely brilliant. Player of the year, in my opinion, and he's another 9 out of 10 for him. Moving on to Saka, I gave a 10 out of 10 again. Unlucky not to be mad at the match with him and there's uh, Zinchenko and Xhaka. Absolutely brilliant. That second goal was absolutely brilliant. The precision, the power he got on it. Very important goal as well, but not even the goal. His overall play, he was giving Luke Shaw a torrid, torrid time at left back. Literally uh, going inside, outside. He can do it all. And in my opinion, it would I call him the best right winger in the world at the moment. That's how highly I rate his form at the moment. He's been absolutely sensational. And only 21 years of age, we've got a special, special player on our hands here. Not only is he brilliant at attacking, but he's also brilliant defensively. And I would I'd like to call him world class. Maybe it's a bit too early for that, but I would I would like to say it to be honest. Moving on to Martinelli, again the quietest of the front three. Since the World Cup, he's got a couple of goals, but I don't think his form has been as good as uh, before the World Cup. But maybe 7 out of 10 is a bit uh, um, generous, but he still works very hard and is a crucial part of this team. And um, that him and Charles are going to be some very good competition. Moving on to Eddie and Ketia, another 10 out of 10. Again, unlucky not to be man of the match, and you could easily put him man of the match. Two goals, a last minute winner. Moving on to the first goal, that was absolutely a wonderful, wonderful header, brilliant striker movement. And the second goal, the instincts you have to have in the box to react to that shot or an interception from Fred, absolutely brilliant. And not even at his overall game today, he's so complete. I remember seeing him a few years ago, he was nowhere near as good as this and development under Arteta. He's worked so hard to get to this form with his uh, body development and all that. And he deserves everything that's coming to him. Absolutely brilliant, 10 out of 10. And him and Jesus, I can't wait for Jesus to come back, but Eddie's been absolutely sensational. Next up is Tommy Asu, who I gave an 8 out of 10. He obviously came on for White, who was on a yellow card at halftime, and apart from that one situation where Rashford had a shot and good save from Ramsdale, I think Tommy Asu had Rashford locked up in that second half. I don't, didn't really notice him in that second half, and that's all due down to um, Arteta for subbing on and Tommy Asu, and it just shows we're starting to get some very, very good depth in those defensive positions. Next up, I give Leandro Trossard an 8 out of 10. I thought he was absolutely brilliant when he came on. Maybe 8 out of 10 is a bit generous, can you, uh, considering he only came on for like the last 10, 15 minutes, I think it was. But he played a crucial, crucial part in our winning goal. The passing to Zenchenko just about at the right time to lure Wamba Saka in. And then Eddie Nketiah obviously scored. Brilliant, the little dribbling in the middle to win fouls and that. Absolutely sensational debut and very happy to have this signing. I do think he'll be absolutely brilliant for us. Only 21 million plus add-ons. Really looking forward to seeing more of him and maybe we'll see more of him in the FA Cup. 
Finally, Mikel Arteta will give it head at him. Again, a little bit generous, but I have to be generous because what a win. But that first half wasn't the best, maybe. But the subs for Tommy Asu came on. Trossard, I thought he brought on too late, but it worked. So who am I to judge? 10 out of 10. We are so lucky to have this manager. 50 points in the Premier League. Absolutely brilliant. Where he has us at the moment with his young squad is unbelievable. And him and these players are doing a sensational job. And couldn't be happier to have him at the club. Finally, ending this with the Premier League table, as you can see, we are 11 points clear of 4th place Man United with a game in hand, uh, 11 points clear of Newcastle who are 3rd with a game in hand, and 5 points clear of 2nd place Manchester City with a game in hand. We're on 50 points with half of the games played already with 29 goal difference, which is absolutely incredible. We are on track for 100 points. I don't think we'll get 100 points, but we won't need that to win the league in my opinion, as I think City might end on 90 points. So if we can get from that 90 point to 100 point mark, I think we can do it. I really do think we can. And that's it for today's video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you got to the end of the video, subscribe, hit like and uh, let me know if you agree with my ratings, disagree with my ratings, what your thoughts are on the game and everything and uh, I'll see you in the next video, thanks again for watching.